Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an illumined Blu-ray twin flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. So today, I've got a few topics to talk to you about because we're kind of in this little sandwich area here. We just came out of a Mercury retro and it was a bit odd for a lot of people. There were a lot of body sensations. So maybe as you were, you were feeling maybe some of the energy drop. That's normal. That's what helps you get out of certain things. But it's not your new normal. So is this journey new to you? If it is, welcome. Don't be put off by some of the things you see out there. There are a lot of body sensations. There's a lot of things that happen that are explainable. I teach, explain it. I do lots of videos to help people understand it, but I also do a lot of classes and I do sessions. So what is happening in these energies right now? This is the blending of the feminine and masculine energies, or if you want to flip that, the blending of the masculine and the feminine energies for your divinity. So you have other levels that you will be loving at. Love is a multidimensional thing. Love is a, mul is a how would say it song? Love is a many splendored thing. But for people that are twin flames, it is many levels. And that is a part of why would you blend masculine and feminine together? Because these are the parts of you. These are the action parts and the magnetic parts and the doing and the creating. That all goes together. But there's two of you. So one of my gifts is that I feel both of the people in the twin flame union. So whatever your coupledom is, if you are two men, two women, men and a woman, you're going to be blending it up. And that's going to make you whatever blend you are, which is okay. The variety is the spice of life. And there is just quite a bit that goes with this though. So that's what I'm going to talk to you about in here. This is going to involve several parts of you that you may or may not realize, is that connected to love? Is it connected? Did I imagine that? So a lot of the questions people have, they might say, what was all of that? And did I imagine it? Or if you have doubts, you might say, what just happened? What is all that stuff that I've had going on for the past two years or three years? For some of you that are new and just finding out what some of this is, this is going to be helping you to connect the dots of things that have been happening for you in your life. Why did you meet a certain person? Why is that person unforgettable to you? Why do you think about certain things? Why are some of your gifts opening? It's because you're a twin flame. And you're going through a process, and the process itself is to help uncomplicate how complicated love has gotten. So this is going to involve several mini deaths of the old feminine as it's been tied to the old masculine. What does this mean? Well, this means how have, sometimes it's women and men, okay, it's right down to the physical level, how have people been tied up in marriages or tied down to creating children or creating them with the wrong children? people? Or what if your children were created with someone else that you no longer love, but you love your kids? What do you do about that? How do you reconcile all the emotional things that go with it? Now, some of the things you're going to feel in this energy is you will feel weepy. You will feel sorrow. You will feel grief because that stuff has to get out, it has to be drained out of you. You have to let it, but there are things that you can do to expedite it. That is why I help people. We want to bring that up and get rid of it and truly let it go. Because true letting go doesn't mean that you stop thinking about it. Letting it go is getting it 
detached and unclipped from you. That is what I specialize in. This is also going to include patterns and upgrades that I am referring to as the second puberty. There is a second puberty that both men and women will undergo, but it affects the male body differently than it affects the female body. So if you're a man, you might find yourself being overly sensitive or overly emotional or feeling again like you're, you know, years younger somehow, but feeling old at the same time, old and decrepit in certain areas, and yet young and vital and youthful. If you are a female, you're going to feel overly emotional, but for different reasons. You're not going to have to buckle under the wrong man or woman, whoever has oppressed you in the past. But your body will be affected. Your body will go through several upgrades in several areas of your body. Do you sometimes equate love with abuse? Have you been abused by someone? So these kind of things of old patterns of ways that you've related are going to come up and out. Did something happen to you early on? And this is going to make some of your childhood issues go very rapidly. And we can cut through this very quickly in my sessions. This does lead to growth, but it also will bring up doubts and uncertainty. Mental scatter is a part of this process. So if you are feeling forgetful, mentally scattered, you mispronounce things. I think I just mispronounced something a short while ago. If you feel like you're having a senior moment, but you're not really a senior, these are some of the things that can affect you in areas that are trying to upgrade and heal. Now, this retrograde was also to help the ground level and elemental parts of your life. That means your body. That means your life. That means the things that you hold near and dear, such as family or friends. It could mean that you've had to take care of people. And I have several things to help you with this. So I did this little diagram here. Okay. So in this diagram, okay, now mind you, this energy is still going on. So with the retrograde, we had a hard push, okay? You may feel like you're being pushed through something, pushed forward, a sense of urgency, pushed to do something, you're not sure what to do, and something is flinging you forward. You're like this, whoa, whoa, and you're wondering if you're going to land. You're going to land, okay? So let me reassure you, there is a place for you. Now, it can certainly feel tough, hard, uncertain. You can't see what's ahead. You don't know what's in store for you. You don't know how this is going to look. But here's what you do with this energy. Decide something. Okay. We have some lunar energy coming up here. And you may have felt it already if you felt very crampy. So if you're a man, you may have felt parts of you cramp up. You may have had problems with your digestive system, okay? It's time for you to decide to do something. What are you taking charge of? Now, the retrograde should have been a bit of a review, and a lot of people say, don't sign contracts, don't look at things, don't, uh, you know, your technology will be wiggy. Technology, these little devices are no match for your energy. So yeah, that's true in a way, but it doesn't mean something is against you. It doesn't mean that there is dark forces either. I don't subscribe to the dark forces primarily because as a Blu-ray, I've done a heck of a lot of work to get rid of the darkness. Okay, dark minds, dark thoughts, yeah, those still exist. Actual, real, evil darkness it's getting out of people, okay? You were left with patterns. Do things still happen? Sure. Human trafficking still happens. Do things with drugs and alcohol still happen? Oh, you betcha, okay? But the deep level has been dislodged, okay? That gives people a genuine opportunity for growth 
and healing through their growth. And not only getting better, completely having the past be over and done in a fresh, clean slate. So if you've been waiting for a new beginning, an actual fresh, clean slate, a blank canvas, this is it for you. Decide something. Are you ready to push through and get rid of your addictions? Okay? Keep doing it. Because the minute you make that decision is when you set yourself up for success. Have you decided you need to do something about the divorce? Maybe, maybe not. But do something that takes the fear away from you. Get a consultation. When you get the fact, you will find out what you can do and what you can't do. Because all the laws are different everywhere. Except in the Philippines, there's the actual no divorce law. Are you tired of being the Lone Ranger and feeling like you're standing on the top of a hill going, Hello? Hello? Anybody here? Where are you? Do something about it. Okay? If the person you're calling is your twin flame, it's time to see me because I'm going to teach you how to heart communicate. So you take charge of. What are some of the other things you should take charge of? You take charge of your kids. Okay? You take charge of your kids. Your children are sacred sexual beings. When they hit puberty, you better believe they're going to start doing stuff that you may or may not want. They'll be tempted. They do not have the maturity that an adult has or that even some adults don't have because some of those adults have had a stunted growth. You take charge of your kids. Maybe it's time to take charge of some financial stuff. So part of the retrograde should have pushed hard to show you or point out to some things that need to be done. Do you take charge of your health? Okay. What can that be? Well, let's put it this way. We've all had some pretty bad weather in the Northern Hemisphere. And some of that weather has made things worse in certain areas. And I don't feel okay about that. But if you are in an area where it's time to shake off the winter blues, the blahs, bleh, my life is blah. I don't even know what I want to do. Get outside into nature and start doing something. Because I guarantee you, the animals are out. The crocuses and the daffodils are pushing through even the snow. I've seen it. And I live in Chicago where we've had some Arctic weather. Not like Canada. Hi, Canada. And yet there is still stuff to push through. And to get yourself healthy, start with something. If you're on a twin flame journey, doesn't it? behoove you to learn about being a twin flame. Of course it does. You can learn a lot through my videos because all these things, be, this means that you are being a sovereign being. Sovereign means you are able to create what you want for your life. Okay? Now, the key to that is it's a timing thing and it is the alignment. So how does this happen? Well, I'm going to show you something here as an analogy, okay? I purposely let this grow this way, okay? So you have this, you know, kind of crusty, outer, tapery part that comes off, okay? But the other thing that you have is this. Okay, what is this? This is growth. This growth happened in the dark. Okay, so while you maybe thought nothing was going on during these weird, you know, Mars energies and now we're into the feminine emotions and the masculine pushes to blend together, okay, masculine and feminine blending, and a lot of mini deaths. What has died out for you or what part of you is dying and yet healing? 
What have you experienced as a teenager that needs a second go around? Were your menstrual cycles weird? Where you weren't sure if maybe you could have a baby. As a boy, were you taunted or teased? Or did people look at you like you're just that boy next door and you're wondering, who's going to love me? Or you're wondering as an adult, when did I become the guy that just, you know, I'm the guy that drives everyone around and pays the bills. Where's my joy? Okay, this is the thing that... You know, this growth in the dark is to help you with so that you grow and that you like things. And that sometimes when you're getting pushed, you can make those decisions. What do you love? Do you love travel? Do you love people? Do you not like the isolation that this journey has required sometimes? What are some of the things you can like? Okay. All these things are possible with your body because your body is the conduit. Your body is where you first feel. Your body is the love. Your body is where you have your gifts. So the gifts that are inherent to you. This is one of the things that I would like to encourage everyone who's watching and then some. So please share this with a friend. But the gifts that are inherent to Twin Flame people are part of you. It's not something abstract. Not only that, it's something necessary to help you navigate life. Okay, to give you an example, okay, when you decide one of these things, what are your senses telling you? If you're not sure, if you're so much up in your head, it's time to come see me so that I can get you back into your heart. Because it's time for the love. And the reason it's time for the love is it will be time for the romance. Romance is very important. Twin flames are romantic. Twin flames are passionate. We are deeply passionate. We are capable of deep passion with each other. So you're not here to just be alone. Your body is created to put yourself together with your one twin flame. It's not interchangeable. Everyone who isn't will disentangle from you. So if you would like more information, please try my book. It is called Your Subtle Body Connections. It is about your twin flame body. In here I talk about the template of love and the template of relationship from 5D. I talk about what are the subtle bodies and how you connect with each other? Some other things to help you. Leaving the fourth dimension. How do you know if you're leaving? Well, the first thing is feeling those pushes. Are you being pushed out? Do you feel like you're being disenfranchised? Are you feeling like somehow even though you never fit, you still don't fit again or it's coming and happening again? Does it feel like things are weird? Do you feel like there's a real, you know, light and dark and you're just saying, where's the light? I want my joy back, okay? That is a part of leaving the fourth dimension. Dynamics will no longer work. Patterns will no longer work for you. But there's a lot of other things that have to do with your body that you need to know about. So I'm doing a live class for three Sundays in April to help you with that. The links are below. My ebook, the one I just showed you, the link is below for that. I have four books out now to help you. Or have a session with me. I highly encourage you to, if you are working on some deep stuff, things like bipolar, emotional things, ups and downs, body aches, um, if there has been a trauma in your life or phobias, that is my psyche subtle body session and you need to do four of them so it requires a commitment to doing them sequentially which we spread out a bit or my causal body session your causal body is your manifester it's how you create your life it's how you send the signals of what you want and what you don't want so i want to just kind of show you something here okay 
When you have parts of you that feel affected and you're wondering and you're saying, is it ascension or isn't it ascension? How do I know? I explain that in my books. Headaches. Here. Okay, there's a lot of misinformation out there about what is and what isn't. And, you know, there's a lot of guesswork. The thing you always should do is check yourself, tune into yourself. And because you can feel things, a lot of you are going to be feeling things here and in the gut area. It's time for you to do something because the things that may run in your family, you know, that's part of the reason you're having your second puberty. You're turning on, you want to turn on your other set of ramped up spiritual DNA. And I know how to help you with those activations. So you get some activations, you get assistance to help you with the things that you want to get rid of. That something inside you is telling you, you know what, I really need a shift here. Or I really don't like how things go. Or, you know, I have trouble... I have trouble with a lot of things, but, you know, with my family, everything is okay. But what if you have the opposite? Oh, everything with my family is okay and can get along with all the rest of the world, but not my family. Okay? But maybe you would like to. I can tell you for sure that people do have, um, if you have children that are between the ages of 10 to 20, and they will be close to your union one day or soon. Okay, you should actually find out about this. Now, this is one of the things that I just want to make sure that you're aware. This isn't stopping. This isn't where, it, in fact, the only place it stops at is you being together with your true love. Okay. So there's a lot that's happening to get you prepared, get you healthy, and get you ready for holding a higher vibration of love than you've ever been able to before. That's where I come in. I help you. I teach you. I answer your questions. I guide you. I am leading. I go forward and then I jump back to, you know, help more people out. So... Please come and check it out. Have a session with me. If you've never had a session before, you would find that it is very enlightening. It's fun. We can shift your energy. I help to get things unstuck and to help things get moving. I have helped many people over the years, and I'm not, I'm not new at this, but I hone my skills every single day and... I take great pride in the way that I've been able to help people. I am very blessed and honored to have been able to help so many people from different parts of the world. Now let me get this back in focus. Because even though you might be from different parts of the world and you speak different languages, romance is romance, love is love, and you are here to be in love and be at a level of love that you haven't had in so long. Lifetimes for some of you. Sometimes the wounds have been deep. Sometimes things have happened that haven't been your fault. And it's time to, you know, take off the layers. Your body wants to take off the layers and get to the new growth out you know take off the layers of the past get the new enjoy it put it in a salad no <laughs> so you actually have to be able to help yourself with this this is no longer a passive thing it requires your active participation in one way shape or form or another so the links are below thanks so much for watching i hope you have a wonderful day I hope to see some of you in my class. I also do live body work here in Chicago. If you need help with balancing and shifting your energies. Thank you. Bye.